there is a beautiful story from the life of Jagat Guru Shankara Acharya, the savior of Hinduism, who traveled all around Bharatvarsh, re-establishing people's faith in the Vedas. However, when he was residing in Kashi with his disciples, an episode took place that made him change his philosophic stance. According to him, there was just one entity, Brahma. Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya Jeevo Brahmai Vanapara. There is one Brahma. The world is Mithya or non-existent and according to him, the soul is Brahman. Now one day, he was walking with his disciples towards the Manikarnika Ghat and found that the path had been blocked by a lady who had the body of her dead husband in her lap. And she was wailing. My husband was so nice. Why did God take him? Shankaracharya stood there and said, Ma, please give way. She began screaming more loudly. Everybody else, their husband is alive. Why did it happen to me alone? Shankaracharya lifted his voice. Mother, we need to go and bathe. Please make way for us. She began screaming even more loudly. Finally, Shankaracharya became a little annoyed. And he said, Mother, what is the point in crying like this? Your husband is gone. He is not going to come back. All of a sudden, that woman turned around. She said, Acharya, why are you speaking to me? Speak to my husband. Tell him to get up. Clear the path. Make way for you. Shankaracharya said, Mother, in separation from your husband, have you lost your mind? That is a dead body. It has got no energy in it. How can it get up? That woman, she said, Acharya, According to your principle, your interpretation of the Vedas, Brahma is Shakti Rahit, Avyakta Shakti Rahit Brahma. Because if there is Shakti, then there is no longer one entity. So tell me, we know that Brahma has created the world. If Brahma has created this world without Shakti, this dead body should also be able to get up without Shakti. To prove your point, make it do so. Shankaracharya was astounded. Who is this lady who's punched a hole in my philosophy? He remembered the time when he had gone to debate with Vedvyas, when he had reached Badrikashram. He went behind to Uttar Badri and went up the snow-clad path. Ved Vyas was residing up in the Himalayas. He descended. The two of them met in a cave where they sat down and did Shastra, scriptural debate. It continued for seven days and Ved Vyas, the writer of 18 Puranas, he was unable to defeat Shankaracharya. The debate extended for another seven days and he still could not defeat him. Then he was pleased and he blessed Shankaracharya. You are competent. Go and preach. You will be successful. Shankaracharya thought, that Ved Vyas was unable to vanquish me in debate. Who is this lady who has found such a hole in my philosophy? So he blinked his eyes and when he opened them, the whole scene had changed. That lady was no longer there, nor was her husband. In their place was Mother Durga sitting on a lion with her ten arms. Shankaracharya lay prostrate on the floor and offered his obeisance. 
and the stuti the praises that emanated from his mouth at that time in sophisticated sanskrit that is the anand lahiri two praises by shankaracharya of mother durga are very famous one is the even more famous sandarya lahiri and the other is the anand lahiri which he spoke at that time in which he said that god does create but he does it through his shakti the yoga maya power so you are the cause of srishti sthiti pralay you are the swarupa shakti of bhagavan there are two learnings from this episode firstly people ask the question we understand bhagavan but who is the lady who sits by his side we understand ram but who is sita we understand krishna but who is radha narayan but who is lakshmi so she is not a lady in the sense we understand a lady to be in the world she is the embodied yoga maya divine power of the lord and shakti shaktiman are one just like fire is one with its heat and light similarly krishna and radha are one shiv and parvati are one narayan and lakshmi are one second point this material energy from which this world is made is governed by the yoga maya shakti it is not non existent the world is temporary but it does exist it is a sat not mithya hence your body you will have to take care of it you will have to provide it the proteins vitamins minerals carbohydrates that it needs otherwise you will not even be able to go towards god sharira madhyam khalu dharma sadhanam lord krishna told arjun if you wish to achieve success in yoga by stopping to eat or eating too much it will not be possible maintain the body this is the vehicle for doing dharma those spiritualists who say material science is useless they are incorrect it is necessary to keep the body just like spiritual science is necessary for purifying the mind utilize both these harmonize these to reach the goal of your life